In this video, I am going to discuss about observer's centric system. So, the first thing is zenith of observer. Well, this is the point on celestial sphere right above the observer. Then we have another point called nadir of the observer and this is the point on celestial sphere diametrically opposite to observer's zenith. Let's have a look on this diagram. This is earth and this is the center of earth. This is celestial sphere. Well, as per the definition, the center of celestial sphere and center of earth is same and this is observer. So the point which is right above the observer on the celestial sphere is called zenith and if we see carefully a line joining center of earth to the observer meets at zenith. The point which is 180 degree away that is diametrically opposite to zenith is called nadir here. So we can define that a line from the center of earth passing through the observer will meet at zenith on celestial sphere. And nadir of the observer is the point which is diametrically opposite to observer zenith and we have this diagram. Now let me define observer's rational horizon. It is a great circle on celestial sphere which is 90 degree away from observer's zenith and of course nadir as well. So here if you see this green line, this is a straight line just for sake of simplicity and if I call it as 0 then up to zenith that becomes 90 degree. I think I should write here. So suppose this is 0 degree and we go up to here zenith then it becomes 90 degree. Similarly if it is 0 degree here up to another it is 90 degree. So rational horizon is 90 degree away from zenith and as well as nadir. Let me repeat here again that it is a great circle on celestial sphere which is 90 degree away from observer's zenith and of course nadir as well because both are diametrically opposite. A rational horizon passes through center of earth or celestial sphere that's very essential well if we just go here and we have one more horizon called sensible horizon and sensible horizon passes through observer's eye suppose this is the observer's eye it passes through observer's eye a great circle passes through the center of a sphere. It doesn't pass through the center of a sphere. So obviously the sensible horizon is a, a small circle. A small circle. And which passes through observer's eye. So we can say rational horizon is parallel to the sensible horizon. Now let me add one more point in the definition that rational horizon is parallel to observer's sensible horizon. Now let's define vertical circles. So any great circle on celestial sphere which passes through observer's zenith and of course nadir. Let's have a look here. If we see carefully these are the vertical circles. So all vertical circles will make an angle of 90 degree when crossing rational horizon. Here all these vertical circles will make an angle of 90 degree. 
90 degree this one is also 90 degree 90 degree and 90 degree all these great circles and these vertical circles will make an angle of 90 degree with rational horizon and these are great circles now let's define one of the important uh, vertical circle which is uh, used in rational horizon diagram so vertical circle which passes through east and west points on a rational horizon is called prime vertical circle since this is a vertical circle then obviously it has to pass through zenith and of course nadir as well let's have a look here so this is zenith this is nadir this is rational horizon and these are vertical circles suppose this is earth and this is the axis about which the earth rotates it is projected here on the celestial sphere this is north celestial pole this is south celestial pole now on rational horizon diagram will have these points north south east and west so any circle which passes through east and west point and also through zenith and nadir that is called prime vertical circle prime vertical circle vertical circle which passes through east and west points on rational horizon and it is a vertical circle of so obviously it passes through observers zenith so on this rational horizon if i represent on this plane of a screen then i can represent as a circle and this is north south east and west point so this is rational horizon this yellow circle wz this straight line actually is a great circle and we can call it as prime vertical this is prime vertical wze now north we can represent as 0 degree then east 90 degree and south 180 degree and west is 270 degree so uh, this is north celestial pole so the zenith north celestial pole meets here on the rational horizon that becomes a north point so obviously diametrically opposite is south point so the vertical circle is the circle which is passing through east and west point and observers zenith and nadir as well so i have not shown that circle it will be somewhat like this it is passing like this and goes down like this well this is celestial equator which is 90 degree to axis and this is north celestial pole suppose uh, so 90 degree to uh, axis is the equator that is the celestial equator so we can correlate this diagram like this so WQE this fellow is the celestial equator we also call as equinoctial and this diagram is called rational horizon diagram well we need to define principal vertical circle as well and this is the vertical circle which passes through north and south points on the celestial of on the observer's rational horizon so obviously this is also a great circle which passes through observer's zenith and nadir as well now here north point and south point so this is the vertical circle which is passing through north and south point so obviously it has to pass through zenith so here in this diagram and pzqs that's the principal vertical circle now let me define true altitude of a celestial body so let's have a look in this diagram this is uh, a rational horizon this is celestial sphere and this is the earth the center of earth and celestial sphere is same and this is celestial body 
so the vertical circle which passes through celestial body is this one well now we'll have this angle and this angle is called true altitude so this is the angle at the center of earth or arc of vertical circle passing through celestial body between rational horizon and lining joining center of earth to celestial body exactly that has been defined like this that the angle at the center of earth or arc of vertical circle passing through celestial body contained between rational horizon and line joining the center of earth to celestial body so when the body is on rational horizon true altitude is zero so if body is here that means altitude is zero now it goes like this and altitude increases so here altitude is maximum which is 90 degree let's have a look here on true zenith distance so let's talk about true zenith distance this is the angle at the center of earth or arc of vertical circle passing through celestial body okay let's understand here this is true zenith distance this angle so we can see this is the angle at the center of earth or arc of vertical circle between what between celestial body and the zenith now let me define that the angle at the center of earth or arc of vertical circle passing through celestial body contained between observer's zenith and line joining the center of earth to celestial body well for any given celestial body very essential for any given celestial body true altitude and true zenith distance is 90 degree 